Okay, nine holes on this par three course at the Park West Palm Beach, Florida. This is a little par three course that they added on to the actual golf course. I did a review of this place in one of my other videos and I didn't get to play the par three course. So here we go, first time on this. Holy cow, that almost landed in the hole. That was so close. That was a uh, 80 yard tee shot. So I think I heard something that a hole in one has to be over like 80 yards with a tee marker for it to count as a hole in one. So that would have, that would have counted if it almost went in. Let's see what we do on this par three. Wow, the greens are slow. They just aerated them, so whew. Seventy-two yards here. Pretty wide open green. Get up there. Get up there. All right, not bad. We'll take it. That's two in a row shots right next to the hole. So, so far so good on this course. So far so good. Greens are so slow. Okay. So August in Florida means back to school for most kids. I'm going into 10th grade, so high school for me. I went to school, like in school, my whole life from preschool all the way up to ninth grade, second semester. After the winter break, I decided I was not going back. That was a decision based off of a lot of things, but also I had just started social media in on July 1st of the last year. You have to be super brave to start social media in high school with golf or with anything, just social media in general, because I would say that you're always gonna face the kids that are trying to tear you down or make little comments. I'm not gonna get into that right now because I really don't want to, but maybe I will one day. But right now, I just felt like I wanted time to do social media and to focus on my golf, and I'm a pretty diligent student, so I was gonna do fine either way. So I decided to do the online school. It was the best thing that I could have done for me because I needed that time to grow my basically little business that I have now and grow my golf game. And you know, a lot of people ask, did you play high school golf? Like, what about the social element and all that stuff? I played high school golf sixth grade, made it to states. Eighth grade, made it to states. In eighth grade, I broke the all time school record for boys and girls. I think the school's been up for like 70 years or 60 years or something. So I did fine on high school golf. I played in ninth grade as well. And I just was like, I play individual golf tournaments almost every weekend. So I didn't need that. And I, I have the social element. I'm doing fine on that side. So for me, it was just like, I wanted to create the content that I loved creating. I wanted to do the social media. I wanted to get better at my golf game. I've always been a competitive golfer, but there's a lot of time that school takes up. It's like eight hours a day. It's a lot of time. And I could be out here on the golf course doing what I love. So that's that was my decision there. And I'm not going back this semester at least. So I'm still doing the online school. So I'll still have time to create content for you guys, which I love. I'm so excited. I'm so happy about. All right, third hole here. No birdies yet. 74 yards. Get up there. That's another one right next to the hole. I'm hitting great shots here. Oh, we gotta make this one now, come on. Two in a row missed. This green's really slow because they're aerated, so I gotta give it something here. Come on. Oh. Another thing that I know my family and I talk about a lot and that a lot of people are probably wondering about friend groups and all that stuff in high school, but let's be honest here, like, I'm all for friend groups and all that stuff in high school, but most likely, or most of the time, what I've experienced is that those girls are not your genuine friends and they don't really understand the path that someone like me has taken because it's a very unique path. It's not something that most teenage girls are doing. But for me, it's like, yeah, I'm all for having a bunch of friends, but if those friends are not your quality friends that support you and wanna grow and are kind of people that have the same interests as you. Are they really quality friends? Do you really want to surround yourself with those kind of people? Sit down, down ball. I think it goes downhill after that second little hump there. It's not bad, we're good. Ooh, these greens are like carpet. 
that noise? It's from these leaves here. Um, also, can we talk about this bunker here? What is going on here? If you get in this bunker, bro, if you get in this bunker, first of all, I don't know how you got in it, but second of all, you might as well just pick it out because I don't know who's gonna hit out of this. I'm gonna hit out of it just for fun, but I don't even know if I can. It is just completely downhill with barely any sand and barely any room. That's gonna work out. That's not bad from there, I'll take that every day. <laughs> okay, hole number five, 64. This is, the, this is the shortest hole we've had. Come on, make one, make one, make one. <laughs> oh. Ah, I haven't had one birdie yet, and I've actually hit really good approach shots. I just feel like these greens are just not in the shape to make putts today. Or maybe it's just me. It's probably me, but it's okay. <laughs> you really want to get dialed in with just your 60 degree. This is the place. 64 yards. Not bad as well. I mean, I'm hitting like the same shot on every single hole. Got to make this one because it's like a foot. If I miss this, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> I think I have a better chance right now of putting this one-handed than two-handed. I kind of like this though. I could so do this after like, at like seven o'clock at night, grab three clubs and just come out. I don't even need the third club. I'm, I'm gonna mark it with my putter. I've got the little, I don't know what the name of these tailor made, but Thanks for sending them. They're like little poker chips for like on the golf ball. And I love the little soccer ball golf ball, so I'm excited for that. Ever since that tournament I won, that was like, I'm gonna switch it up and play with the Augusta Flower soccer ball. I've done the soccer ball ever since. All right, making two birdies in a row. Here we go. It is left to right. All right, one under, two holes left. All right, goal is two birdies on the last hole. We need to just, we just, we need to dial it in. And just for the record, I'm not encouraging kids not to go to school. I think school is a great thing. Just for me, I felt like, I feel like for some people, it's not the best, best situation ever. I feel like there's way more different routes you can take as a kid nowadays. I think that there's a bunch of different things that people have passions for as well. So there's different routes and there's also some risk in this as well. But, and I'm not the kind of person that is like risk big and get a big reward. I think you have to kind of take the risk in little doses and then once you see that there's kind of some progression there, like I had started the social media months before I stopped going to school and did online, like eight months before that. So I had knowledge of where it was going and I saw that it was doing well and I was like this is what I want to do so you don't have to jump in full dive in the deep end but also taking some risk is good sometimes too come on get up there a good shot I had to give that everything because uphill on that face into the wind 50 degree, 90 yards, I had to give it everything. Not 50 degree, 54 degree. I also firmly believe in going to college and doing the best you can. And like, I still want to play D1 golf and do the best I can in college golf and go to college and have those experience, 100%. And I still believe that doing the best you can in college is extremely important. I'm just thinking for the short term, I think it was the best decision that I could have done and I also felt like I wasn't in a situation that was benefiting me. Then I was like, one's benefiting me this much and one will benefit me a lot more in the long run. So I went with that choice. <laughs> All right, back of the cup. I said two more birdies, so I need to make this one. All right, there we go. Two under. Could be a lot more under, I'm not looking to lie, but solid golf here. I Oh, putters only? That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Bigfoot's four, but <laughs> okay. I could putt this, let's do that. What a great idea. If I had a par three course, I'd make it just like this or something like this. 63 yards of pure putting. Come back, come back, stop. 
time to sit down now. Is that good? I can't tell if that's next to the hole or not. Mm. All right, we have to finish that. Finish it for par. Funny enough, this is like the worst hole we've had. 